Alrighty, here we are pulling into uh, the calcite dock here. Um, you can see the John J. Bolin right here loading up with a bunch of aggregate. We're coming up here, we're going to take a little right hand into a little basin there and we're going to go right where we need to go. The beginning of the end for the old hope. Wish your luck. Here's our little basin that we're turning into. Not too bad of a day, about 60 degrees, or at least it was when we left. It took us two hours to get down here. I think we beat everybody. But here's Kelsey Wells. How's everything looking? Looking good. Coming out. morning. Uh, let's see. That's one crane. You can see the boat in the background. Down on the ground is the lifting frame. And there's the other crane. That crane there I think is uh, 80 ton. And this crane here I believe is 60 ton. We're looking towards inland, we're looking west right now. The boat is facing south, stern sides to the north. The, um, the bow is going to be coming right at us when we lift this thing up. So there you go. I'll check back in a bit. boat high and dry, two cranes, going to pick her up, and that big old boat is going to go on that little trailer. We'll get a good view over here in a minute, but that's a little trailer. That's a big boat. There's the truck. There's the bow of the boat, there's underneath the boat, there's a strap holding the boat, that's the crane on the other side of the boat, there's a couple of guys, another strap, there's the boat. Here comes the trailer. Backing her on down. Okay, I gotta get to work. 
There's what she kind of looked like gonna go down, going down the road. She's still hooked up. We're bracing her up right now. <clears throat> okay. Port side of the Hope. See all that? I did it. All the welding. That was me. Some other guy chained her down. But that's the way she shored up. Those two are welded together. Come back here a little further aft. Welded on some supports here underneath. Back to another box. He's just cleaning up some of my handiwork. Okay. This is the first leg back to the shop. Oh, there goes Charlie. Coaching. Man, that just looks wild. 25 feet, 4 inches tall off of the ground. Perfectly good boat. See ya, honey. she goes, leaving the calcite dock on the road. She's on pavement. Making the first turn of the journey. There she is, up and over the hill. It's the hope, going through a hay field. Probably the most efficient she's ever ran, and the quietest. <laughs> there she goes. Hey dad, if you hear this, I think he's doing like 50. Look at how fast he's going, oh my god. I'm just kidding, he's not going that fast, but look at that boat rock back and forth. Okay, once again, uh, she made it. We're here, we're in the parking lot of Moran Ironworks. Be a while before she gets into the building. Today's uh, Wednesday, the uh, 11th of November. Made her on down here pretty good. You get a good look at everything here. There's the guy that drove it down here. He's the man. And then Moran Ironworks. Pretty cool. Going out into that parking lot right there for the next couple of weeks till they're ready for it. Boy, old Mother Nature was shining on us this time. Good weather.